Hey, and welcome to Art with Mo. I am getting over a slight cold, so bear with me. My name is Monique, and today I wanted to do a small art haul with you all. I purchased some markers, some sketchbooks, colored pencils, and a pencil sharpener. Let's get into the colored pencils first, which are by Arteza, 72 count expert colored pencils. They also came in three trays with the colors labeled on the inside of the tin and on the outside. The color pencils were labeled on the outside as well of what color it was. The sketchbooks are from Arteza as well, if you can tell there's a kind of a theme. And they came in a pack of two, which I'm pretty excited about because I like the quality of these sketchbooks. And I like that there's no little spine in the back, it's all just one flat page. <laughs> There are 68 watercolor pages, so hopefully these pages do well with markers and gouache. The sketchbook has cold pressed paper, is double sided, acid free, and has an expandable inner pocket. <laughs> The sketchbook is natural linen and it is best for watercolor and mixed media. I also got a pencil sharpener that comes in a container so that it holds all of my pencil shavings. And these markers are the Bionial Classic Series alcohol based dual tip markers and it's a set of 72. And the marker set came with a card swatch and it has the colors printed on the card already. And then on the right side, it has a spot for where I can add my own swatches. There is a fine tip that has a black casing so that you can tell which side you have in your hand. And then for the chisel tip, it has the white end. The color numbers are on the cap and the side of the barrel of the marker. All right, now it is time to swatch. The whole reason I got markers is because I have never really experimented with them as an adult. And I'd like to see if I can make portraits with these or even landscapes. And that's another reason why I got the colored pencils. I wanted to use those for shading when I do portraits.
colors match pretty well to the swatch chart on the left, but I did notice that some of the colors were lighter and some were darker because of how it applied to the glossy paper. So I decided to swatch again in my sketchbook since the paper is a little bit different from the swatch card. And again here, some of the colors did show up differently on my paper, but overall I am happy with the color range that I was able to achieve and get with the 72 marker set. The markers do have a bit of ghosting and they do bleed onto the next page. The sketchbook that I have now is the Canson XL. It's supposed to be uh, mixed media, so I only have a few pages left in the sketchbook. With the marker bag, there is a small card to decorate, but I haven't had time to plan out what I want to go there. so. Maybe that'll be for a future video. And with the bag, it is more for traveling, so it's definitely smaller and it's not too bulky. But the only downside is, is I'm not able to organize my markers by color coding them. So I'll just have to be a little bit more careful or just not as precise about what my markers look like. And as for the Arteza sketchbook, I absolutely love that this sketchbook doesn't have a spiral on it because the Canson one does and my hand is always hitting the spiral which I don't really like and then I'm also glad that there's two pages that have quite a bit of space and so that I can make my spreads a lot better. I plan on transferring the color swatches over to the new sketchbook and just to see how the paper will hold up because the Arteza sketchbook is 230 GM2 but the Canson is 160 G, so it should hold up better. I have used the color pencils already for Mother's Day and they worked really well and I love the blending that they were able to achieve. The tin that they came in seems really sturdy and compact for traveling. I'll try to make another video once I've had a little bit more practice with these colored pencils. I hope you enjoy this small art supply haul with me. Please make sure to hit the subscribe and like button so I know what videos you're interested in. If you have any tips on how to get started with these supplies, please let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.